Hello everyone, this is Chris Eberly, an engineer at Plexum. Welcome to the Plex Model of the Month video series. In this video, I will discuss a novel control scheme for multi-phase machines used in a hybrid energy storage system application. Specifically, a distributed torque control strategy is proposed for a dual three-phase permanent magnet synchronous machine for electric vehicle drivetrains. The model has been developed by Dr. Hu at Zhuazhang University in Hangzhou, China. I will first discuss existing research in the area of electric vehicle powertrains with hybrid energy storage systems. Ideally, the stored energy system can serve the needs of both high energy density and power density, as high power and high torque requests by the driver, long-term reliability of many charge and discharge cycles, and range anxiety are all factors in the design. For the reason of balancing the trade-offs, Hybrid energy storage systems using both batteries and ultracapacitors are popular solutions in recent times. This figure shows three power distribution approaches that exist today, with the third being the emphasis of this research. The first consists of two DC to DC converters, a three phase DC to AC converter or inverter, and a conventional three phase machine. One drawback is that having more power converters in the system leads to higher losses. A second approach uses two parallel machines that are connected together via a planetary gear set or clutch. While fully implemented in many vehicles on the road today, the mechanical design for this solution is quite complex. The third approach is to deploy a multi-phase machine drive system, which has the benefit of enhanced power capability and reliability. Specifically, the author is using a dual three-phase permanent magnet synchronous machine or PMSM drive. Existing works adopt a current control method for dynamic response to the energy storage devices. Here, however, the offer proposes a torque control method that is more capable in handling rapid load fluctuations with a major goal of reducing the coupling effects between the two sets of windings. This schematic shows the dual three-phase PMSM-based drive system with parallel DC link fed inverters. The first inverter is sourced by a battery and the second a set of ultracapacitors. Torque control for the separate inverters allows independent power generation back to the two storage systems. A feed-forward compensation with the machine speed and current differential term is required for the decoupling, meaning the dynamic performance of the machine is subject to the accuracy of these measurements. In the paper, the author uses a voltage model flux observer for the voltage calculation and offers a thorough analysis to arrive at flux decoupling compensation that is less complex than previous proposals. Here is an overview of the proposed distributed torque control scheme. A speed set point is compared to the measured speed of the machine and proportional integral compensation is applied to the speed error signal to generate a torque set point. From there, individual torque reference values are calculated with all the equations provided in the author's paper. Flux and torque estimation is done using stator current and voltage measurements from each inverter, as well as the permanent magnet flux angle obtained from the encoder. The torque reference values are then compared to the estimated values, and resulting logic produces the angle increments for the stator fluxes, delta theta 1 and 2. These are then provided to the voltage calculator which includes the flux decoupling logic. Calculated voltages for each drive are then used to generate modulation signals via a space vector modulation scheme. The author further defines the operation modes of traction, regenerative, and energy recovery, as well as the role and considerations of the battery and ultracapacitors and their respective inverter and winding systems during each of these three modes. Let's now take a look at the PLEX model developed to verify the results of the control algorithm. Here we can see the battery and its two level inverter and windings connected to phases ABC of the machine and the ultracapacitors with its own set of inverter windings connected to phases DEF of the machine. Each source supplies 400 volts DC. The machine component itself is a generic dual star connected machine for a total of six phases with rotor windings and magnets. The machine model is implemented in the rotor reference frame and its rated power is 2.2 kilowatts and its rated speed is 1000 RPMs. As can be seen in the simulated current waveforms, 
individual regulation to the separate drives is occurring despite the drives otherwise looking identical to the machine. A change in the speed command occurs at half a second as the machine increases from approximately 300 to 500 RPMs. In case you want to learn more about this proposed distributed torque control scheme, the reference and author's contact information are available below. I hope you enjoyed this video of a novel control of a multi-phase machine drivetrain with energy storage modeled in Plex. Our next model of the month video could feature your model. If you have a Plex model you're willing to share, send it to info at plexum.com with the description of the power stage and controller. If your model gets picked, we will make a video of it and post it to our LinkedIn and YouTube pages while publicly crediting your work. Please submit your Plex models to info at plexum.com for a chance to have your model displayed. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexum.com. Thanks for watching.